Hey everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell and uh, today I want to talk about one of the tools in Photoshop that we all love to hate and that's the Curves tool. But I want to talk about how we can make the Curves tool really easy to use by targeting it using adjustment layers and luminosity masks. Now luminosity masks are really cool um, and they're something that are unique to every image. We build luminosity masks using pixel selections from our image and the masks themselves are based on brightness values. Uh, by targeting our selections to these brightness values using our adjustment layers like curves or any other tool in Photoshop you can really target your adjustments and make subtle adjustments to contrast, brightness, and color to uh, really work with images that have a lot of subtle tone ranges. And so for an example today, I've got this image that I took a few years ago. This is out in um, Death Valley National Park in California. And what I'm going to do is talk about trying to adjust it with curves. Now, normally you'd come into this image and you could come over and expand your layers panel and just add a curves adjustment. So I'm just in the cur adjustments uh, panel up here, click curves, and you get a, a curves layer applied. Now you have this uh, properties panel. I'll make it a little bit bigger here. And this is where you have to adjust the curves. Now in curves, you've got the complete tone range, and here's the image histogram laid over it. And you can, you know, drag areas up to brighten them, drag areas on the curve down to darken them, and the slope of this line between any two points on the tone range is a measure of contrast. So you can see that very small adjustments to curves make some pretty strong adjustments to your uh, image tones. And this gets very tricky. So if I want to just work on this sky with the highlights, I need to uh, either make a really fancy curve that tries to smooth out um, smooth out the shadows and the dark tones to protect them and just work with this top of the curve area or I need to mask it. Now I can mask it uh, in normal ways uh, simply by adding a layer mask to the curve so I'll do that. I'll add a mask and I'm going to hold down the uh, alt key on my keyboard or the option key if you're on a mask and click add layer mask and that adds a black hide all mask and then you can take your brush tool B and just paint in with um, white the area you want to adjust okay so that works and there's nothing wrong with doing this this is a, a, per, a perfectly valid technique just brush in where you want this curves to be and if I want to go back I can go back and adjust the curve and do whatever I want. The problem with this is that this selection is you know fine for large scale where I want to just adjust all the tones but if I want a higher fidelity selection this is where luminosity masking comes in. So let's delete this this mask. I'm going to just select the mask, click the trash can in the layers panel to delete it. In fact I'm going to reset everything. Okay. And I'm going to select my background layer and we're going to create luminosity masks. Now luminosity masks are stored in channels and they're based on tones and you can make them yourself but the easiest way to do this is by just using actions and I've got luminosity masking actions that you can download. You can get the free set or you can get my ebook uh, tutorial that includes the actions to generate a complete set of 25 luminosity masks. But for right now, let's just make the basic ones. So I'm going to go over to my actions panel. I've loaded in my luminosity mask set and I'm going to click the action that says generate luminosity masks and come down to the bottom and press play. It's important that when you use these actions you make sure you've selected an image layer otherwise you won't you'll just get a bunch of, of black uh, layers in here and you have to redo them the good news is, is you can delete them and regenerate them with these actions all the time now you can see here let me hide my my actions panel uh, the channels panel now contains 11 luminosity masks and these are based on tone values so we've got the basic the light tones the dark tones and it extends all the way down to blacks, whites, and even mid-tones. What these luminosity masks are are just grayscale pixels. When we load them as a selection and apply them as a layer mask, they protect, they show and hide pixels based on brightness. So white areas always get selected, black areas are always 
protected or hidden from the effects of that layer. So let's go ahead and select, I'm going to just select this highlights one mask. You can see where this is pulling out mostly just the bright tones in the sky and a little bit here in the foreground. Again, it's not based on area or regions, it's based on brightness values. To, um, to load that in, what I'm going to do is just hold down Control or Command if you're on a Mac and click the channel of interest. And you can see some of these marching ants have appeared. Okay, so that's what's going on. There is a selection here. And now I'm going to go back to my Curves Adjustment layer and click the Add Mask button with the selection loaded. What you can see here now, look at this, our mask is pixels based on the sky. So now when I go in and adjust this curve, I'm only affecting the bright tones of the image. So I can make this sky pop. I can do this for other areas too. So let's just say I wanted to make an enhancement to the uh, dark tones. So I'll grab this Shadows 1 mask, control click, loads it as a selection, and now I'm going to choose Curves Adjustment. When I've loaded the selection, it's already it's automatically added into this mask. So that's really cool. I don't have to worry about creating the mask. And I can just make simple adjustments. And I'm tweaking only the dark tones in the image. And you can use this technique with any tool but curves. It makes curves so much easier to use. Let's just take a quick look at um, what we did here. Uh, if I disable these layers for a minute, these, these masks, you can see how much stronger those curves adjustments really are. So by enabling them, we're just restricting this curves tool. We're making a, a difficult tool far easier to use. And that's what I love about luminosity masks. Now, if you want to get these actions, there's two ways you can do it. Go to, out to my blog, check out the link for the free luminosity masks. That'll get you the action that creates this basic set of luminosity masks. Or you can pr pick up my ebook tutorial, Mastering Luminosity Masks. It has the complete set of instructions, not only how to use them, but also if you want to make them yourself. It has those and it includes a download of the actions that I have that will generate not only the basic 11 masks, but zone masks and expanded midtones masks that all give you different amounts of control over which tones you're selecting. So that's my tip for today. I'm Jason O'Dell. Check out my website at luminescentphoto.com. Thanks a bunch and I'll see you next time.